Hello there, my name's Peter Yarnett and I'm the second brewer at Harvey's in Lewis in East Sussex. Uh, we were founded in 1790 as a company and the brewery that is behind me at the moment was originally built in the 1880s and it's a lovely example of a Victorian tower brewery in the Gothic style. If you've not come across a tower brewery before, uh, it was the way to brew beer before the use of pumps and you just take all your raw ingredients up to the very top where it says Harvey's Brewery, we have our liquor reservoir and basically each successive stage of the brewing process is located below the one before and as we're producing the liquid we just allow gravity to do all the work for us uh, and recently we installed a little five barrel microbrewery so we could do some interesting small batch beers that we uh, couldn't do upstairs because it would take up too much room. Very nice. So this show also shows the history of brewing in the area and how it was done yeah, in years um, past and it's also a good pilot brewery. Yeah, you can see in some of the pictures at the back there how brewing was done in the 1700s, 1800s. That was much more labor intensive. this equipment was specially made for you? Uh, no, we acquired it from a brew pub that shut down but the uh, equipment was available. Okay. Very good. Well, tell us about the most popular Harvey's beers. Um, our most popular uh, beer is Harvey's Best Bitter, which is available from London and in large parts of Sussex, Surrey and Kent. Um, we also do a few other beers that are available all year, which are the Amada, the Hadlow, and the Mild. And we also do a range of seasonal beers, so we can do a different beer for each month. Um, and there are a few occasional fun ones that come out every now and again. Uh, the Russian Imperial Stout we brew about once every two years, store it for a year, and then we'll bottle it. So it, it's got a lot of maturation, a lot of flavor in it. And most of your beers are traditional cask ales? Yeah, predominantly about 95% of our production will go into cask ale, uh, but we can also bottle on site. Mm -hmm. so and that's about 3% of your volume bottling? About 5%. About yeah, 5 yeah. okay. We only do bottles or casks. Okay. And if people are uh, in London, what, what, what are the names of your two pubs that are there? Uh, we have two pubs in London. Uh, we've got the Royal Oak in, near London Bridge, and we've recently acquired the Cats Back uh, somewhere between Wandsworth and Putney. Okay. And uh, should you uh, be down in Lewis itself, where the brewery is, we've got three pubs in the town. We've got the Swan in Southover, mm -hmm. the Dorset Arms at the end of the Cliff High Street, and the John Harvey Tavern, which is just across the way from the brewery and is our uh, brewery tap where you can get beers either on hand pump or traditional gravity dispense from behind the bar. And that's the brewery tap right across the street, so you can check that out. And it's very rare because it does have gravity dispense tap. Could you tell everybody the difference between gravity and, and hand pump? Uh, gravity is very simple. You, you put a tap in the cask, you put it up behind the bar, and you just draw the beer off by um, opening the tap up. Um, a hand pump uh, is, is a very classic British pub thing. You'll see them on the bar, and you'll see the bar staff pulling on them. And it's, it's called a beer engine, and it just draws the beer out from the cask, which is normally in the cellar below, and delivers it up to your glass in the bar. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic, very good. Well, Harvey's is extremely traditional and um, uh, one of the classic breweries in, in England, so mm -hmm. we congratulate you on a job well done. And oh, thank you. You've enjoyed working at the brewery, right? Oh, I love it, yeah, I've been uh, yeah, drinking the beer before I got the job right. here, so it's, right. it's quite uh, extremely lucky on that score. Very good. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks very much and many years of success to you. Thank you. My pleasure.